but it's like, no, nah, can't, nah, can't dog. test me like that. You can't test my fundamentals like that. But here we go. All right, Mango, a different beast. Also, when I do analyze, I go back like quite a few times sometimes. Like when I rewatch like, situations. Nah, can't, nah, can't test me like that. You can't test my fundamentals like that. But here we go. Or can't, nah, can't, dog. That's actually, okay, this one. Levin actually told me that he likes to do this as well. He gets the power shield here, which makes it better. But he said he likes to wave dash against Falco on a close range. And since he got the power shield, Mango tech flubbed, and he got an opening there. Levin also has like extremely, extremely good giants out of shield. Ooh, that was a good pivot up smash. Yeah, Levin recognizes Mango is like not gonna reach him if it dashes back. So I can dash back, pivot up smash. The thing is, uh, Leffen actually, I would say Leffen and PP, probably more than any other players, loves to dash back. They want you to attack their current lo location, and then they whiff punish you. Once you, like, they want you to attack where you're currently standing, and then they dash back, and then they attack you. That's when they strike. They are really good at punishing that. Here, if you jump to ledge right away as a spacey, Fox can actually use run off shine in a lot of scenarios. Uh, but it's a read, of course. The dash dance from Leffen. Yeah, no, Levin's dash dance is extremely strong. I think Levin's got actually a lot of... So, Bob Money actually did a analysis of a Mango Levin set in the past. You're calling me a weird! <laughs> Sorry, Bob, guy. Bob, Bob Money. Bob uh, Money represents, that... of course, from DBR, the crew that is bringing you yeah. the Genesis. From, I should say from the Genesis crew, basically. That um, punish was so bonkers. Can you tell me what I just saw? Levin... Oh. From the Genesis crew, that, was, that was good by Mango. That punish was so bonkers. So... Can you tell me what... Okay. So one of Fox's best tools in this matchup is full hop because once Falco approach Like if Falco is here and he approaches short hop laser or short hop aerial They both loses to full hop from Fox like full hop drill for example So mango notice here that left and full hops and he, he like he goes forward But only a tiny tiny bit waits for left to fall down and that's when he strikes with the laser. That was really smart by Mango, actually. Most Falcos would have jumped in, landed here, in this area, before left, like when Leffen was still in the air. And then Leffen would have been falling down with the drill, for example. So that tiny, tiny little drift. That was really smart, actually. Like, look at this. Like, he's only drifting slightly forward. He's not going fully forward. Messes up left in spacing, and boom. He barely dies. Okay, in this scenario, it's really hard, but it's possible. So when Leffen gets hit by the downer here, obviously he tries to like smash the eye, tech on the stage. The thing is, you can actually tech in place here. But every single Fox, I have done this multiple times as well, roll in because they hold in when they smash the eye and then they tech roll in as well. The thing is you can actually switch from in to neutral position on the controller stick so you get a tech in place. It's really hard uh, in some scenarios but it's possible. And the thing is Mango already knows he's going to roll in. He didn't get a punish but still. This is also a super important thing. Like some stuff I point out is like fairly basic, but I also want to like try to teach everyone something when they're watching this. I don't only want to like teach like 0.1% of the viewers. Like I, I want to like point out some complicated stuff, some basic stuff. Yo, thanks for resub, dude. Uh, but yeah. Just gonna point out. Oh, he had to read. Good the guy by left. Yeah, yeah, to survive. Otherwise, you go off stage. I was just gonna. So in this scenario, when Fox up is here, 
if you put a laser in this height, like you guard the ledge pretty much. It's really important for Falco to do that because if you laser so you guard the ledge, Fox have to go straight or up. He can't go to a ledge. Otherwise, he will fall below the ledge. He has to up B. And for people that have seen this set, probably recognize that. Probably recognize that. So let him recognize that a laser is going to come here. He can't go diagonally down and decides to go straight instead. The thing is though, Mango knows that he can pretty much back off safely because his laser was good enough placed. And then he goes for the, the, for the down smash. This is actually also a thing I noticed when I played against Mango. Uh, and the better I became in the Fox Falcon matchup, the more I noticed this. So like, a lot of people talk about Mango's like offense, but they don't pay attention to like his mix-up game in neutral. So like. Look here. So he lasers, wave dash back. Lasers, wave dash back. And then he goes in. Because he knows that full hops beats short hop laser and short hop aerial. So Mango, he mixes it up between laser, wave dash back. Like, he, he doesn't want to, like... Mango's decision making of when he decides to go in is actually really good. And I feel like a lot of people don't pay attention to that really. They only focus on like the aggression part, not even like the defensive mix ups as well. Yeah, that was a very good edge card. There was actually not really much Leffen could do there uh, once he got into that situation. Yeah, to avoid the downer, Leffen pretty much has to uh, has to go for the for the mango, and mango recognizes that even if Leffen tries to drift to the stage, he will get hit by the F smash. The F smash also stays out for a very long time, so it doesn't really require any like crazy timing. It's not like a move that is out for one frame and you have to be super precise. Death Smash is out forever and Mango knows it's gonna hit. And in this scenario, that is also super common uh, in melee. You know in this scenario, Leffen has two options. Either side B for the ledge or he can up B. Mango knows that if he goes for the down air and Leffen side Bs, he's dead. If Leffen goes for the up B in this scenario, Mango will still have time to edge guard him. That's why sometimes in melee, assume that they are gonna make the side B. If they do, they die. If they don't, they are still off stage and you still have like a pretty good edge guard scenario. And that's what Mango does here. He expects him to do the side B. He does it and he dies. Oh, that was really smart by Leffen. A lot of foxes wouldn't have done that. I'm not even sure, like, sometimes I go for an air too much here as well. But Leffen recognizes he DIs to her center stage, and that upper barely, barely, like, gets him. That was good by Leffen. We're, 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 we're just witnessing that upper was really smart. Fox on Falcon, Falcon on Fox edge guards. Of course, Falcon was the laser, the fourth thing, you know, textbook Fox on Falcon, Falcon on Fox edge guards. Of course, Falcon was and yeah, that's also like the since Leffen times his shines out of shield very well, you have to be careful with timing your aerials like high on shield. That's something I've learned for sure. Did you see the way by Mango, by the way? But not only him, like, Ice and Prof does that as well so much. s Fat is a notable uh, one of the North American Foxes. You see? Mango does a high aerial, Levin tries to shine right away again. Like here, Mango does a high rising down air. That was not a very fast shine by Levin. He messed up a little bit. Like, you want to be grounded when you shine out of shield. Uh, but it's it's pretty hard to do sometimes. I, I shouldn't say too much because my shines out of shield are a tiny bit too slow. To challenge, just to, but, but Mango stopped right outside of range, and then punished. You know, Bobby, I did. I did see it. I it realized you're asking me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. And then punished. You know, Bobby, I did. I did see it. I it realized you're asking me. 
I actually feel like Mango actually could have avoided death here, Wait, for sure. And then you know what, Bobby, I did. I did see it. Like here, I if he's fast pull a little bit more and then jump back here, he would have killed Leffen while getting back to the stage as well. But he jumps a bit too early, so he gets above Leffen and he has to fast fall to hit him. So his mistake here was that he didn't go low enough before he jumped. And since he didn't do that, he ended up being above Leffen and had to fast fall in order to hit him. Because at that point he was so committed, you know, coming Dude, back it might be a little rough. This is, I'm gonna give Mango super duper Armada benefit of the doubt because Armada does this on Oops. I wonder if he wanted to trade. Trade with the Firefox so we get all well, the yeah. No, Tove, he did not want, like, uh, uh, in that scenario he put himself in a bad scenario and a trade would have been much better. But for Mango it was more like he rec recognized he messed up and he sort of accepted that he was gonna die. Obviously a trade would have been better, but it wasn't really that close to be a trade in the first place. Mango fading away with down air as he usually does, oh, wow. not biting. See, Mango that's the full hop I was talking about earlier. Does, oh, wow. So this time, when Mango approaches, Leffen full hops above him, Mango lands with the laser. Mango gets a power shield there. Or wait, was it power shield or was it just when I stopped does, that it looked like it? Okay, yeah, it was a power oh, shield. Comes down and he, and he mess, he oh, but yeah, those full hops is super important as Fox. And Leffen almost, almost got it there. Mango actually loves to do that down smash with Falco. Which is why... Yeah. Based on where Mango lands on the platform, that's where you want to go. Because sometimes the down smash doesn't cover everything. It's a lot based on where you, you stand on the platform. And if it does cover everything, rolling in is actually the best. So you know what I'm this is like a, you know, These are okay, also... Plub going down, that's a big deal. Plub definitely could win the tournament, but, you know, right. if I had to guess, uh, you know, These are okay, also... Plub going mm, down, that's a big deal. That was pretty smart. Like. Whole tournament. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You so know what I'm saying? This is like a, you know, These are okay, also... Plub going down, that's a big deal. I'm not sure if that was intentional by Mango. Like, he does the shine turnaround, and then now like... with Leffen full hop, since Falco's full hop is much higher, Leffen ends up below Mango, Plub and Mango gets could... to punish. Win the tournament, but you know, right. if I had to guess, one of the few times Fox's full hop did not really end up being that good, and that's also a really important thing. So, with Falco, a lot of times, if you uh, if you jump like this, like you have to come down at some point, right? The thing is, land with laser is actually so good because if someone tries to grab you as you are landing, they get a laser in their face. So, with Falco, it's really good. Most of the time, it's way better to land with laser than land with an aerial. Because good players will just space out, like, outspace your aerial, wait for you to land, and then try to go in. Or you just throw out a move that straight up beat your aerial. Like a Marfair beating, like, the Falco Nair, for example. Uh, yo, thanks for 100 bits. Move frame by frame. Uh, we can like, I guess we can like lower the speed and stuff. I don't feel like it's m important most of the time, but if I feel like it's important, I will do that. Right, yeah. Down there? Wow. You already know. Two players. Right. All right. Yeah, we can actually start doing that. That he was gonna win. It's. I'm just not sure if people will really like it that much better, though. Way lower than either of these two players. Right, yeah. So, so here's the up tilt. The thing is, like, a lot of times in melee, you need to understand where you are gonna end up after a hit, and that's how you do that, how you decide where to di. So Mango goes for re reverse backer here. And what Leffen should have done was probably to DI like pretty much straight out so he couldn't get down aired. He tries to survival DI and it's set up perfectly for Mango to use down or him off stage. Uh, but of course it's like it's a lot of mix ups with DI so something that might look like a bad DI is like yeah it ended up being bad but like it could have been good at the same time. 
like some things that turn out bad doesn't mean like it was really a bad play per se. It's hard to explain, but it's like some stuff is like always bad. With DIs, it's like a lot of 50-50s. Downer? Wow. You already know. You already know. You expect to? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Left one reads the full hop. Oh, what a re -grab. Re -grab. I Don't even let it tech. Good reaction. I could use a roll there, but he decides to go for the backers. Uh, all right, yeah, we, we can do we can do that All right, so that's backwards and that's forward. Yeah, we can do that Because sometimes you do the back because you're like maybe he can land I'll just do it because you can cover everything so it's like why not? Goes both. Oh my okay, god. Okay, these balls are nuts. Uh, down tilt? You know, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Wow. Can, oh. Yeah, great oh, take yeah. by Levin. Yeah. One thing I like so, about Mango, uh, Okay, these balls are nuts. Uh, down tilt, you know, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Yeah, it is an area like at this percent. It's so common for top players to use weak hits to extend a combo. Uh, So yeah, uh, go forward. So Manga does the weak backer here, expecting Leffen to D.I.N. Oh damn, yeah, okay, this actually went slower than I expected. Like in this scenario right here, when Mango does the weak backer, he wants Leffen to D.I.N. The, the reason why this works so often is because people do not want to die, and if you do a strong hit and you D.I. out, you're automatically dead pretty much. Which we can see a lot of these setups. I do them with Peach, like weak backer, like weak reverse backer to Nair, weak Nair to Nair. West Bolts do them a lot with like weak reverse backer into down air with Falco. Uh, Mango go for this weak setup here as wow. well. And... Leffen was a little bit lucky to escape there. One thing I like about Mango, uh, I'm just gonna point it out. Mango goes for different reads. Like he's a different read. Oh, Ooh. shoot. Leffen well, stealing a the advantage back. Big shot. He's a different read. Oh, shoot. Uh, I'm just gonna point it out. Mango goes for. In this scenario, like one Leffen, like, yeah. He's a different read. One thing I like about Mango, uh, I'm just gonna point it out. You have to really respect Fox at the ledge here. Mango should probably already shield or something. Shield or buff a roll away. Because Fox is ledge dash and then he's faster as well. And invincible, so go through the move. And then Leffen barely sneaks past Mango. If you are gonna sort of challenge Fox ledge dash, you should be sort of like in this area where invincibility runs out. Mango was already very close by the time Leffen got to the ledge, so it was a tricky situation for sure, but I feel like he should not have challenged him with an aerial, because he was way too close for Leffen's invincibility to run out, unless he had a very bad ledge dash, and Leffen is known for having great ones, and Mango has to pay the price with his entire stock. Big shine spray. I was just gonna say, Mango is a, he reads, he tends to like to cover different options than most Falcos. A lot of Falcos will like to forward smash in the Shizwiz, and Mango forward smashes in place or out. Cause he knows like, I wanna be on the next Yomi level. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? I do. But, Let's uh, run away with this. Left that was a fire stock. Yeah. That's the thing. Questionable DI. FD, right? Yes. Questionable DI, I would say by Mango, I actually. Yeah. That's the thing. Questionable DI. FD, right? Yes. 
That was that was better by Mango. That was sort of like the distance I was talking about. So yeah, Levin is on the ledge here. And Mango barely, barely is out of range. So yeah, that worked out better for him. Oh, but. That, okay, so after Levin shines here, what a lot of people do as Fox is to wave dash and then jab. The thing is though, a lot of times the jab gets smashed the eyed and you don't get anything out of it. I'm not saying that the jab is never good, but if you predict your opponent is going to try to... Uh, smash the eye, the jab reset, and you do nothing, they're gonna do a regular stand-up. So a good mix-up to jab is to not do anything at all. And they're gonna stand up, and then you can keep punishing them. But Mango goes for a roll there. So he, he might have been a step ahead there. Oh, good shine out of chill by Mango. Reaction. Oh, barely missed up smash. Ah. I, I kind of I see what it. he was going right, for. I get it. He wasn't quite in position. He wasn't near enough to the stage, but that was a good idea. I think the second laser, maybe he didn't want. Well, the I second laser, like, only if he was going to land on stage made any sense whatsoever. Made any sense at all, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the idea was there, I get it. Uh, Alright, 1-1, one, one, left in Mango. Levin boxes him off stage, the shines clank. No Alright, 1-1, one, one, left in Mango. See, that's the way that you talked about earlier as well. Levin actually really likes to do that. So he shields the laser, and now he acts out of shield with wave dash. Look here. Hit shield with laser, Levin acts out of shield with wave dash shine. It's pretty good. And that's also the thing we talked about earlier. So. Levin wants Mango to attack his current location. Why does it load for so long? And Levin tries to go for the grab. That's actually weird. Huh. What the fuck? Uh, okay, yeah, he was barely, barely out of range. Barely out of range. It just looked weird when I did it in like frame by frame. So in this scenario, when you get dr the drill as Fox, actually you can grab Spazies. Or any character for that matter. Assuming they don't smash DI away from the drill, if you hit with drill and you play against a character that can't be like wave shine, you just go for the grab right away. So if you play against Fox, if you play against Falco, uh, go for drill, immediately grab. Against characters like, people might say, but oh, what if you play against Peach? What if you play against Marv? Shouldn't you shine? Yeah, you should shine, assuming the shine is not gonna put them at the ledge. Because if the shine put them at the ledge, well, that's not nearly as good as getting a grab. So if you do drill against Marv, Peach, for example, go for drill, grab, or go for drill, shine, and then follow up if the shine is not putting them at the ledge. But if you're close to a ledge, the shine will put them at the ledge. So keep that in mind. Your trajectory and sort of has that. 
But the reality is in melee with any character, you can kind of weave in and out of the air. So you can jump forward and then drift back. So oh, Mango, slightly back. too close. And I think it's left in sludge dash again. Still work out good in then. Wait, how did he recover here? Mango had actually done this same recovery multiple times against Leffen. See? Jump to a ledge right away. Wait, like, just fall down a little bit. Like, here, fall down a little bit. And then jump to the ledge. He's done it at least three or four times. Maybe even more. Wait, did he try to do it again? Yeah, he tried to do it again, but that time he missed. Levin had really hadn't really been Mango catching on to that habit yet. Alright. So both of these players, I mean, this set, like everything that's happening where he would not get shined. That's one thing that so is really hard uh, when you're playing as Mango compared to a lot of other players. So Fuck. A little bit back. Shine spike and Mango just found the spacing where he would not get shined. So Levin hit the shield here. Very soon. Fuck, the lag is real. And then... Yeah, it was skipping a little bit there, but anyway. So he was hitting the shield, he... Tries to go center stage, expects Mango to roll, but Mango acts out of shield instead. Like, it's hard to get Mango to roll. It's like you have to earn his roll. He's not gonna roll easily. You have to work for it. That's m m probably one of many reasons why Ice have a hard time against Mango, because Ice loves to read rolls. And Mango yeah, rarely okay. gives them yeah, to his opponents. Yeah, Nino Twitch, yeah. Um, that jump to the ledge for Mango, uh, you can do run of shine. It, it's a bit risky, but sometimes like the reward is also that you get a full stock sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, both, both. I say that, you know, he's looking. I guess what I'm saying is a game deficit for man. That's actually. Leffen does an up tilt here, and a lot of time when you crouch or about to crouch, you get like this animation right here when you get like knocked on the ground. Leffen knows that and do the second up tilt. He do that against my peak sometimes, where he like up tilts and then up tilts right away after like a wave shine. You can tech it, but you have to expect it. He loves the force match we're taking place. Wow, great uh, Honestly, I'm surprised here. Leffen actually should have finished off this stock here. So, this shrine here, in this moment, Mango should be dead. He's too low, he can't side me. What Leffen should have done is dash back a little bit and then dash out, full hop, and then shine Mango. Or maybe he would have been able to side me actually. It was, yeah, it was pretty close actually. I was just surprised how Mango made it then. Making it really difficult for for their opponent to edge guard them. You know, Leffen's coming back. Making it really difficult for for their opponent to edge guard them. Oh, that's the thing again. All right, so that's actually one of the best scenarios that Leffen could be looking out for. So, all right, yeah, that makes perfect sense. I also use it a little bit, but I can use it better. So, Mango is pretty far away from Leffen here when the laser is about to hit. He hits the shield, Mango dashes up when I approach. Or maybe it's the sequence right after. Fuck, I'll do this instead. For their opponent to edge guard them. Making it really difficult.
difficult for the for their All right. opponent to edge guard. Making it really difficult for the for Here it is. Opponent. So Mango Laser from a far distance. He thinks he can go in pretty safely. And left and wave dash towards Mango. And since Mango was still in the air, Left and Shiny is gonna come out first. That's probably the best time you can wave dash in. It's kinda far away distance. Making it really difficult for the, for the their So yeah, pretty far away distance. He predicts Mango to keep approaching. And left and wave dash and Mango gets punished. That's really good actually. Coming back a ton, even though I think Falco has a pretty great edge guard at first box. This oh, yeah. is big right now. Oh, that, that's also the thing I talked back about earlier. Good. Even though I think Falco has a pretty great edge You see here, Leffen goes for a jab reset, Mango smashed the ice, smashed the ice, and is out. The thing is, if Leffen didn't do a jab at all here, Mango would have done a regular stand up. And that means Leffen couldn't punish him afterwards. But yeah, it's a read. It's a read. First box. This oh, yeah. is big right now. Yeah, the Mango Diang off stage. Oh my god! I can't god. believe the Force Smash reached! Yeah, that was, well, Falco's Force Smash, dude, it's a really, really good move. Wow. Very, very good move. And Four Mango boxes. double jumps away, that was so risky. Left and chased after him, but didn't quite get him. Yeah. And now it's last stock. Mango up, no jump, no jump! Okay, he makes it back to the center of the stage. Uh huh. Left and has all the stage positioning, playing great. These guys Ooh, respect each trading. other so much, yes. Oh, Ooh. no jump, no, no jump, where's he gonna go? Up. Left with the, the, the That up smash. Oh, that's it! Left and up, two games to one versus Mango. Off of what I call uh, the Isaiah up smash, where the Isaiah would, he would, he would do the reverse hitbox on purpose to send him back out. Um, I gotta give shoutouts to the god, dude. We're in San Jose, right? Yeah. This is the birthplace of Isaiah. I don't that's know right. Birthplace, but it's, it's his residence. Back to stadium. Mango with his patented uh, upward angle sh uh, Fox drill and chill is actually a lot of times not really safe. Like, a lot of times you can actually even grab Fox if he does drill and shield. Back to stadium. Mango, with his patented Mango does a spot dodge, so he probably went for China out of shield, but messed up the execution. Oh, went for the jab reset. This time Mango didn't smash the A out. I think that Leffen's such an interesting player because I think that he can get... He goes... He feeds his own momentum, and what I mean by that is that... Leffen actually hasn't really rolled like away from Mangus' pressure even once. ...and who can actually play worse because he's feeling nervous. Right. But yeah. at the same time, when he's playing well, I feel like he really comes alive. Yes. And, like, the Leffen that I'm watching right now has so much confidence. Yeah. And I think that, you know, I don't know, man. Uh, it's Dark Leffen. Yeah. He, 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 like, takes over the room. It's Dark Leffen. Confidence. Yeah. And I think that, you know... I don't know, man. Uh, it's dark weapon. Okay, yeah, that's also like a really important know. thing. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, so in this scenario, Mango jumps, and he's gonna land with an aerial here, right? So how you drift as you're landing is really important because when you land, uh, as we talked about earlier, uh, people are gonna try to punish you, right? Either with grab, maybe a full hop over. Could be a few options. Uh, but if you always pull back, for example, it's going to be very easy for Fox to just run in with Shine, uh, for example. But what Mango does here, he pull backs a tiny bit and then he goes in. So much confidence. Yeah. And I think that, you know, I don't know, man. Uh, I see. He pulls back first, tricking Leffen into the fact that he can go in. So much confidence. And then and he just drifts you know, forward again. I don't know, man. So he drifts back first, and then he drifts in, and Leffen wants to punish Mango as he's landing. But since Mango drifts forward again, that messes up Leffen's spacing entirely. He predicts the downer to be maybe here, and now it's here. And that's why he barely, barely got hit. So mix up how you drift as you're landing with an aerial is always super important. Don't always drift forward. Don't always drift backwards. Mix it up. It's dark weapon. Yeah. He 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 like takes over the room. You see that's that's the weapon you see when he beats Axe 3-0. Yeah. And he gets up and he kind of gives the crowd a look like what? 
Yeah, what, what did you what did you expect? Yeah, did you not expect this? Like I could have told you this was going to happen any day of the any week. Any day of the week. And I, it was Twitter. basically guaranteed. Where I had lots of falls. <laughs> many of many of them were bombs. German winner, no punish by Leffen. But Leffen ready. Oh! Wow. Oh, oh barely surviving. Yeah. Now it's one percent where he was going to survive. Yeah, I, I agree. One percent. Mm. Missing a Thornton, I think, and, and that makes the edge guard so much easier for the Fox. Is this a full stock lead and game lead for Leffen? I think, and, and that makes the edge guard so much easier for the Fox. Is this a full stock lead and game Missing a Thornton, I think, and... Yeah, Mango seems to prefer to, like, go forward as he lands. Leffen tried to do the same thing here and, and again. So Another important Fox. factor for Mango, though, is, like, this stupid edge thing here is, like, it's, me it's messing Leffen up a little bit, or it could have. Mango drifts forward again. Like a lot of people, they like to drift backwards because they're afraid, but that actually makes it easier to punish them most of the time. Like it's very notable when Chief players, they actually love to do that a lot against Spaces. They space fair and they always drift back. It's actually so easy to just run shine against them when they always drift back. Stock lead and game lead for down there, and that's it! Ouch. Men leaving it up, wow. The power of Falco, uh, down air, a true spike, you know, if you get hit by it, you cannot meteor cancel, which means that you just go down for the full hit stun. Yeah, wow. Very, very powerful uh, move that only a few characters have. Yes, I can't believe Mango's fighting him in the pit right now. This is so scary. Yeah, he's so getting beat up right now. 101. Leppin messes up a little bit. Okay, Mango's, Mango's turn. Ooh, oh, that crouch. Oh, Leppin misses his wave land. That could have been the KO. Bates out of up smash. Speaking of up smashes. Oh, Leffen's, the short Leffen's shortens have been so good. What an obvious forward smash, and Mango's so ready for it, but unable to punish. That was kind of crazy. Uh, 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 up smash. Yeah, yeah. Leffen went for a very obvious up smash. The crowd cheering for Mango. Mango, <laughs> obviously a fan favorite. Yes. Uh, but Leffen... Oh, yeah, he tried. Mango tried to Mango do the same thing here, but this time he missed yeah. uh, sp space uh, uh, the laser. But, but See? Like, it barely... Like... It's too early, so Mango tries to back off now. He wants Leffen to not be able to go here, but since the laser already passed Leffen, the ledge is free now. Imagine if the laser was here, right now. Leffen would have been getting hit by the laser, below the ledge, in a bad position. But since Mango shoot, um, was shooting the laser too early, Leffen can actually take the ledge now. If you go back a few minutes into like... This analyzes, or not a few minutes, but like to game one, I think it was. You, you can notice exactly what I was talking about. Ooh. Oh, is that rift, rift forward again? Yeah, see, like, Mango drifts forward every time against Leffen, and it always seems to work since Leffen wanna punish his landing. Yeah. It's like, what a cheesy technique. But I didn't else, notice before I actually analyzed this set. See? Oh, uh, fuck. See, Mango landing with an aerial, go forward, Leffen expects him to pull back. The fact that Mango drifts forward messes up Leffen's spacing every time. I guess Leffen is very used to people drifting backwards instead of forward. That up was actually extremely smart by Mango. And that's the laser we talked about. A scar. See? Laser covers the ledge. Since Leffen goes for a ledge, he gets hit by the up B, or by the laser. Now he's below the stage. He can't side B. He will be forced up B, but if he up B there, Mango could use suicide kill.
Can I say why that up B was extremely smart? Yeah, I can do that. Wait, let's go back a little bit. All right, there it was. So the reason why this up B is so smart, look here. If Mango goes for a downer here, it's a very high chance that it's gonna trade. And if he trades, he's dead. And he knows that Leffen is gonna go for up smash. And he can't afford a trade. Even if it would be like a weak up smash, it would be in a, like a pretty bad position for Mango. And this up B is barely out of range. And then he got out of the scenario. So that's why it was smart. He couldn't afford a trade. If Mango had like two stocks to one and he traded, well, that's fine. But he was one up smash away from dying. Levin has actually sneaked over, uh, sneaked over Mango's downer quite a few times. Like here, like every time Levin has been going for this angle, Mango should probably like at least once or twice challenge that angle used to make Levin uh, a little bit more afraid of going for that same angle every time. Ooh, almost. Ah, uh, Mango too close against Leffen again. He needs to back off against the ledge dash. Like, Mango's mix-up game, like, when he goes in with the laser or aerial is really good. But he needs to back off against uh, the ledge dash sometimes as well. Yeah, Mango's getting pretty wrecked early on here. Oh, that was, that was smart by Mango. Yeah. So look here. Mango... Mango giants left in here, and he delays. He delays his downer because he wants Leffen to get closer to the ground so he can get the connecting giant. If Mango did a downer right away, it's a high chance that his next giant actually would not hit. It's a very important aspect in Nelly. When you combo someone, you need to remember how long they are in hit stun and sometimes delay your move to make them get closer to the ground. Like, Leffen was still in hit stun, and Mango waited for him to fall down a little bit, and that's. When he did the down air. Mango needs a big, big punisher. He's got the shine. Great tech in place yeah, by Tech in place. Even tech away would have been easier, slightly easier to cover. Right, because it takes a little longer. Yeah, he knows. I'm just gonna make Ooh, this. Ooh, that trade was good for Leffen. Mango to get to me in time to punish. Mango with no punish in the tech in place yeah. there. All right, what's Leffen's up tilt are doing so much work, by the way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Great grab. Okay. Ooh, wow, that great. F smash. Mango right now, we're fighting his way back. Not great the eyes of Levin on that back air, and Mango, that should be two stops apiece, this should be up, Levin is in traffic though. And Levin, you know, if he keeps to, if, if he keeps it together, he's got a, still a sizable leader, but if Mango yeah. gets one big opening, uh, we know what Falcon can do to, 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 yeah, to Fox. basically Levin just doesn't want to get hit! Great up smash on the shield, but Dream Lefton to, yeah, to Fox. Yeah, basically Levin just, big opening, uh, <laughs> we know This is also pretty smart by Mango, so like, when Levin is here on the top platform, this area where Mango is right now, Leffen actually can't reach him if he wave dash off. Even if he don't fast fall, his backer is never ever gonna reach this far in. So what Leffen would have to do in order to reach Mango would be like a short hop or something. But Mango could have reacted to that. So it's pretty smart by Mango to back off that much. So now when Leffen comes down, Mango goes in with the laser. 
Oh, same same thing there, pretty much. Yeah, Mango backs off enough and goes in once Levin comes down. Yeah, that that's the pretty common rule. So Mango wave dash back, Levin rolls in. Uh, he doesn't really like, got a true true punish, but that kind of roll, it's hard to get Mango to roll in these kind of scenarios. Which a lot of people do not really remember when playing against him. It's like, we're all so used to the fact that people roll often, but Mango don't. That's the PP backer. PP loves to do this backer against Foxes when they approach with Nair. He is dash away and throw out the backer. And Foxes like just eats the backer. And since Leppin is so low percent, he even got the shine there. That was actually also a mistake by Leffen to go for the backer there. Like, Mango doesn't have that much of percent here. Leffen probably should have used Comfort up here and tried to like work from there. Now Mango is crouched and he, it's a bad position but not too bad. And now the laser thing happens again. Mango plays the laser by the ledge, Leffen falls for it once more and boom. Dead. And Mango's pop off. That was a clutch comeback by Mango for sure. Plot armor. Why didn't Levin go high? Uh, probably he was hoping for Mango to mistime the laser. If Mango mistimes the laser, Levin gets the ledge. 